Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is about fragile resin. I just want to give you guys my thoughts on how you should use fragile resins because there's a lot of different kinds of ways that you can use it, and also a lot of different ways that people are recommending how to use it. And so if someone has told you to use all of your fragile resin once you hit AR45 in order to farm artifact dungeons, then I'm sorry to say, but you've been sorely misled. Well, okay, maybe. Depending on what kind of player you want to be and what type of game experience you're looking for. So if you were to ask me, the main advice I would give you on how to use your fragile resin is to use it for what you need right now in this moment. So depending on where you're at in the game, it's gonna be different. If you're still below AR45 or AR40, and still below maybe world level 5 or world level 4, your fragiles are probably best used if you need to level up your characters, ascend them, or level up their weapons or their talents. And I emphasize the word need because if you aren't struggling, then you definitely don't need to use your fragiles unless you really just want to play the game more, which is also a completely fine reason to use your fragile resin. Other people might say you're being inefficient, but efficiency isn't the right way to play the game. Having fun is. And so what do I mean when I say need? This would also completely depend on you. But in general, you would need to use resin if you're trying to accomplish a specific goal in the game at that very moment. Consider this example. You have just unlocked the final weapon domain and gave it a try. The monsters in the dungeon were level 80 and your team was not quite equipped to deal with it. You really want the higher drop rate from the dungeon, but you have no resin left to farm for more talent books, ascension materials, or XP to make your character stronger. In this case, you could consider this a need and maybe want to use your fragile resins so you can farm those things. How much you use is totally up to you, but using them will make it so that you can reach your goal faster. You could of course try co-op, but sometimes co-op is not a preferred option for some people. So in this particular case, that's a need in order to reach a short-term goal. So using fragile resin is totally acceptable in my eyes. Another example would be that you unlock the AR-45 artifact domains that guarantee a 5-star artifact drop. And you really want to prioritize those drops, but your characters can't beat the domain. So again, using fragile resin to beef up your characters in order to reach that goal is totally okay. Another good reason why you might not want to spend all of your fragile resin and choose wisely on where to spend it is when there are events that require you to use your resin. There has been leyline overflow events that gave us double rewards on XP and Mora. So using Fragile Resin to claim that is a wise choice because it's the most resin efficient thing that you can do in the game and you can also just use your naturally regenerating resin to farm the things that you usually do. These things are also usually time limited so the Fragile Resin is perfect there. And I think that the last thing that I can think of on why you might not want to use your Fragile Resin is if you forgot to do your weekly bosses. Since these fights are super time gated, forgetting to do them on a particular week week could really set you back on your progress on leveling up those talents to level 7 and 8 and 9 and 10. Talents are a big damage increase, so you definitely want to level those up. And since you can't use condensed resin on these fights, and if you've accidentally spent all the resin for the day, and it happens to be a Sunday, then your only option would be to spend that fragile resin. And if you had none, then you'd be really, really sad. And of course, I have to go back to the very first example I gave about using all of your fragile resins for artifacts. I am not saying that you shouldn't use them to farm artifact dungeons, you totally can. And if your goal is to get your favorite characters to the best possible stats, then using all of your fragile resin in order to meet that goal is completely fine. I just want to give you a different perspective on why you might not want to do that. And here are two more reasons why you might not want to spend all of your fragile resins on artifact domains. Number one, artifact RNG is absolutely terrible and you might not even get what you want with all of that resin that you're spending. Number two, artifact dungeons also do not rotate on a daily schedule, so they are always available whenever you want. No waiting around for a particular day 
for specific talent books, for example. Resources that are constrained by a certain day of the week are definitely good candidates for using Fragile Resin because you don't have to wait IRL for them to come around. Now, there is a very particular reason why people would consider using Fragile Resin as being the most efficient way to farm artifact dungeons, and that's because of the RNG. Every artifact that you get is not something you are guaranteed to use, unlike talent books or essential materials, for example. So using this extra reserve of resin is seen as being the most efficient because you get to roll more chances on getting the pieces that you want without being constrained by natural resin. At the end of the day, it all comes down to how much patience you have and how long you plan to play the game for. Because you can always reverse this and use your fragiles for guaranteed materials and use your natural resin to farm artifacts every day. This video tried to serve the purpose of letting you guys know that you can spend your fragile resin however you want. This video is definitely aimed towards those players that are still kind of new and kind of figuring out the game. If you've been playing since launch, you probably already know how you want to use your fragile resins, so this was probably not that useful of a video for you guys. Basically, there is no right way to use fragile resin. You play the game to meet your own goals, and you use those fragile resins to achieve those goals. Fragile resin is one of those things that you shouldn't get too hung up on. If you're a player like me though, I've barely spent any because I hoard way Way too much. It's like getting max elixirs in RPGs and never using them even though you just beat the final boss. So I should probably go and use some right now. Yeah. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys later.